All right. All right. All right. Going live. Hey, 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 hey. <sighs> Welcome to the Effortless English Show with the world's number one English teacher, A.J. Hogue, where A.J.'s more than 40 million students worldwide finally learn English once and for all without the boring textbooks, classrooms, and grammar drills. Here's A.J. with a quick piece to help you learn to speak fluent English effortlessly. I'm A.J. Hogue, author of Effortless English, Learn to Speak English Like a Native. Join my VIP program, Speak English Like a Native. Go to my website, EffortlessEnglishClub.com. That's where my courses are, EffortlessEnglishClub.com. Our challenge, our three-month conversation challenge, has, has begun, has started. Lots of people joining it. Lots and lots of videos on our Gab group. Lots of them. So great. All of you who put your videos there, fantastic. All of you who are talking to each other, you've created conversation groups, you found conversation partners, fantastic. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Today we're talking about how to change your feelings. How to change your feelings. Uh, which is, I think, actually a very important topic because you know many times when people have goals in life and they want to change their life what do they really want to change it's often they just want to change the how they feel most of the time right and we often will make goals because we think if i do something if i get some kind of success then i'll feel differently right like if i make more money then i'll feel happier if I lose weight and I'm in better health, better shape, I'll, be, I'll feel, feel happier, right? So uh, many times the real goal, we, we kind of really don't realize this, but that the, our real goal is just to change our feelings. Well, what if you could just change your feeling and, and you don't have to <laughs> achieve anything, <laughs> right? So in other words, like uh, maybe you don't, don't need to be rich to be happy. Maybe you can just change your feelings and have the exact same money you have now, but feel much, much, much happier every day. Is that possible? Yes, it is. And that's our topic today. And we're doing, of course, another chapter from Tony Robbins' book. So this will come from Tony Robbins again. Changing how you feel. Tony talks about, and uh, I think it's a very good point, <laughs> that, uh, you know, you, we don't need to wait to change how we feel. I think we, we, we all, like I said, it's, it's almost kind of like we give our per ourselves permission to be happy, but we make these rules, right? When I make more money, then I will feel happy. When I lose 20 pounds, then I'll feel happy. When I have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, then I will be happy. Right? When I graduate from school, then I will be happy. Right? We, these are ridiculous rules, but we often do this. We create this like, I will, I will only be happy when this thing happens. And the problem is, many times we achieve the goal. We do it. We graduate from school. We make more money. We get the girlfriend or boyfriend. And we're happy maybe a very short time. And then we go back to being mostly unhappy again. So the goal doesn't actually make us happy. right? It doesn't really change our feelings long term. I mean, the truth is that our feelings are kind of habits many times. And they're, they're not really dependent. right? They're not attached to, they're not connected to our life situation so much. I think most of us uh, have this feeling that, or this idea that what happens in our life on the outside, what we do, what we achieve, whether we're lucky or unlucky, that's what makes us happy or unhappy. But it's really, that's not true. Of course, that has some effect right? Of course, if we have terrible things happen to us, it, it's easy to feel bad. And if 
But, but on the other hand, if life is going great, everything's doing well, we're being very successful, it's still quite common people will have good, decent lives, like lots of things good in their life, but uh, still they're unhappy. All right, so let's talk about it. Someone's asking, I'm, I'm fasting. I need to fast. I desperately need to fast. I'm fatty. <laughs> Again. All right, here we go. Um, let's go. We'll just do the... We're, so this is uh, Tony Robbins' book, Le, um, Notes from a Friend, and it's Lesson 5, Chapter 5, and let's read it. And here we go, Chapter 5. It says, What you see is what you get. And he starts with this exact topic so many people want to change how they feel but they don't know how isn't this true so often real it's our real goal is usually our feelings it's not actually more money more success and all these other things yeah sometimes those things are important for us for some reason but i think for most people most of the time we really just want to be happier right? So he says, the fastest way to change how you feel about anything is to change what you're focusing on. Change what you're focusing on. He says, even if things are tough, you've got to focus on what you can do, on what you can control. This is why, you know, I always say, if you want to be happy, the first step is to throw away your TV. Never watch TV. Never. Because why? Because what does the TV do? It changes your focus. When you watch TV, when you watch movies, you're focusing on what the producers, the director want you to focus on. And usually these are not things that will make you happy. Not long term. It's very dangerous to let other people decide your focus. So even when if you're having a tough time in life, some difficulty, you have to be careful about what you focus on. You must focus on what you can do and what you can control. It's interesting. I have a family member right now where this is very obvious, where my family member is having a hard time. But she is focused on things she cannot control. She's very upset about things she cannot control, meaning someone else's behavior, you know, another person's behavior, another person's actions. You can't control other people, right? They're going to do what they are going to do. So if you focus on what other people are doing, on their behavior, on their attitudes, on what they say, then uh, you're powerless, right? It's very easy to be unhappy then because they will do things you don't like. They'll say things you don't like. And if you keep focusing on that, focusing on that, well, it'll never change because you, you can't force another person to change. You can't uh, force them to do what you want to do. You can't control them, right? Usually. Uh, so the f very first thing you must do to be happier in a difficult situation is you have to decide what can I do? What is possible for me to do? What can I control really? Right? And you must focus on those things only. Your own thoughts, your own feelings, your own actions, your own behavior. Those things you can control. You can control what you eat. You can control what you do each day. You can control what you focus on, what you read, what you listen to. You can control largely um, the people you connect with, the people you spend time with. There are lots of things we can control. You can control the things you th think about each day, all day. You can control what you read. right? So there are a lot of things you can control, and these things can help you a lot. But if you focus instead on, oh, uh, what these other people are doing, even worse, if you focus on the news, you focus on, you know, current events, you focus on what rich and powerful people are doing all the time and getting upset about it, that's even worse because you have zero influence, okay? At least if someone you know, like a, let's say, you know, 
your, I don't know, your, your, uh, uh, husband or wife. Okay. You could focus on them and what they're doing and saying, because, uh, you know, you do have influence. You're with them. You, you talk to them directly. You can try to dis have discussions with them and then ask them to change. And of course you can change too. So at least you do have some influence with them. But if you focus on what the president of the, of the United States is doing, and getting upset about it every day. That's just crazy because you have no power uh, to influence that at all. None. And I mean, to be honest too, the president of the United States doesn't even really have any power. It's He's not the one in control. So, so many people, they're just watching the news all the time. They're reading and watching TV and reading newspapers and getting upset every day. And making themselves uh, upset and angry and and uh, negative for no reason at all. These things are be outside your control completely. Next, Tony talks about something you can focus on every day that's very powerful. And I agree. This is probably number one. He says, you could focus on something that you're grateful for today. Focus on something you're grateful today. Gratitude. I have talked about this many times in the past. It's worth saying again. Gratitude is probably the number one thing you can focus on every day to make yourself happier. Right now. Make yourself happier right now. Even when things are very, very, very hard in your life. You can look at your life, search your life, and find things that are good. Like, are you healthy? relatively right are you in the hospital right now hopefully not if you're not that's something to be grateful for because many people are <laughs> um and it's it's terrible so if you're not in the hospital if your body is basically healthy you should be very grateful for that it's something to think about and be happy about every day right uh how about family? Do you have a nice family? Like this is something I'm so grateful for is my family. Every day I'm so grateful for my children and my wife. And I think about it every day. I have actually, I create kind of habits so that, you know, every night when I, before I go to bed, I think about gratitude. I pray and I, my prayers are focused on gratitude. Um, so, and you can just do this all day, every day. There's so, constantly looking for things that are good in your life. That you're, that you're grateful for. And this will start to change your general feeling of happiness every day. And then he gives an example. Like if you go to a party, imagine you go to a party. And uh, in the first example, you go to a party and there's two people arguing during the party the whole time. They're just fighting and arguing and they're angry. And you just look at them. You like Maybe you're looking at a camera and you just focus on them the whole party. And at the end of the party, what would you say? You would say, oh, this party was terrible. It was really, uh, you know, it was terrible. It was just arguing and uh, it was so horrible. What a terrible party. On the other hand, you could focus on a, on a different corner, a different area of the room. And in this other part of the room, there are a bunch of people laughing and telling jokes and having a great time. And you focus on them the whole time. And then what? at the end of the party, you would say, oh, this party was great. Oh, so much fun, right? It's the same party. It's just that... And it's, who do you focus on? What do you focus on? We'll have a big, big, big influence. We'll change how you feel about the party. It will change your experience. So, obviously, what this means is you need to choose what you focus on. So many people just let things happen. They just focus on whatever is happening to them. They don't choose it so much. Again, this is why the media is so, so powerful and so, so dangerous. You're not choosing what to focus on. The person who, the director, usually, who is making those camera shots and the screenwriters, the people who are writing it, and the actors, they're all deciding what you focus on as you watch a movie, as you watch a television show. And the news is just, you know, it, the news is totally fake. It's just like a, you're just watching a TV show or a movie. And they are controlling what you focus on and they are doing it to change your feelings. They will make you angry about some things and upset about other things and afraid of other things. And it's all under their control. Very dangerous to let people control your focus. You need to control your own focus. You need to decide what you focus on. And you want to focus on positive things that make you happier 
and more powerful over your own life. He says, the reality is whatever you focus on, you move towards. You move toward, move in that direction. Many of you know the book, The Secret. This is kind of the idea of that book, The Secret. If you focus on something, you're going to go in that direction. If you focus on health, 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 you're just reading every day, you're reading books about health, you're watching uh, videos about getting health and eating health more healthy and doing exercise and it's just health 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 all you do is focus on being more healthy more healthy reading things listening to things and you go and you find friends and you meet people who are very healthy and health 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 is your focus you're probably going to get healthier okay that all that focus on health will influence you maybe not in one day Maybe not even in one month, but after a few years, you will start to change your habits. It will happen almost automatically because you're focusing so much on it. It's going to change your beliefs. It's going to change how you feel uh, about a lot of things. And it will eventually change your behavior and your actions. And you will usually become a healthier person just because you're focused on that so much. You're filling your brain with messages about health, you're likely to become healthier. So Tony says, focus on where you want to go, right? Don't focus on where you were already. Don't focus on the problems and how terrible they are. Don't focus on what everybody else is doing. Don't focus on the media. Don't focus on any of that. Focus on where you want to go and focus on gratitude. I would say that it's those two things. Gratitude is about right now what's already good and where you want to go if you choose positive goals or you choose a, a positive idea or vision of what you want and you focus on those those are the two main things to focus on what you're grateful for now and where you want to go in life when you change your focus and he makes the point that it takes time it's not immediate when you change your focus, often you don't immediately change direction, obviously. Right? There's a lag time. Lag time means delay. There's a delay, right? If you start focusing on health, health, health today, tomorrow will you be instantly healthier? No. It might. Maybe even after one month, not much change. But after several months, you're probably going to see some positive changes. After a year, very big changes. Same with gratitude. You focus on gratitude one day. Actually, you might feel instantly a little happier. I find that gratitude can actually have a, a very fast effect on your feelings. But, you know, maybe it's a small effect. But if you make it a habit every day, you're focusing on gratitude. Maybe before you go to bed, maybe when you wake up, and even through the day, you will start getting happier, happier, happier. Okay, and then he finally says, whatever you think about most, you will experience. Makes sense. So if you're thinking about, you know, problems all day, well, you will feel frustrated and stressed, right? Because you'll just feel like, my, oh, my life is just full of problems. We always have problems. I have problems. You have problems. There are always going to be challenges and difficulties, right? Life is never exactly what we want. So if you focus on that a lot, all the time, then you'll feel like your life is full of problems and not very enjoyable. If you focus on gratitude the most, if that's what you think about most of the time, you'll feel like your life is so lucky and wonderful. If you focus on love, then you're going to have a life full of love. If you focus on health, you're going to have a life where you feel very healthy, right? You get the idea. So change your focus. And th what this means is your habits. It means ch changing what you focus on, you know, all during the day, not just one time, not just for a few minutes, but it's your habits of focus is what we're talking about. All right. All right, let's get to our... Comments and questions live now. Please comment in English, guys, since that's the one language everyone's learning here. All right. Yeah, okay. Fool Yadav says, I focus on speaking English. It's a very good point. 
So that's something else that's positive you can do. You can focus on something you're trying to learn, like a skill you're working on. So for example, English, of course, that's what the challenge is about. Uh, our conversation challenge really is just for three months, focusing on English a lot, just focusing your mind on English. That's going to get you doing more English. It's going to get you talking to people more since that's the challenge. And you're going to see some good results in three months. Good point. It's a very good example. So you can, you know, gratitude. And then that's a, an idea of focusing where you want to go. I want to speak English more. So focus on it. Think about it every day. Yeah, like, uh, uh, was it Rogelio says, uh, where focus goes, energy flows is a nice uh, little phrase. Where the focus goes, energy flows. Exactly. And Tony, you know, uses that phrase. So when you focus on something, you're putting your mental and emotional energy into that topic, into that area of your life. How can I make my life happy without money? S2 says. Very, very, very easily. Money will not make you happy. It will not make you happy. So change your focus. Focus on gratitude. That's the first thing I would say. If you think you need money for happiness, you're wrong. So um, I would say focus on gratitude every day. That's. I think that's a very good first step for anyone who wants to feel happier is to start focusing much much more on gratitude every day you can you can do that by like i said like at night you could pray you know save a prayer of gratitude you could uh, make a habit of every day writing down on a piece of paper in a journal in a diary or just writing down i'm grateful for this and just make a big long list every day you make a list and you can write the same things every day it doesn't matter uh you'll you'll start feeling happier and better for sure Okay, let's see. Just looking at your comments, questions. They're coming in. Oh, hey, Ibrahim Ali says, hello, good to see you from Egypt, as always. Yes. Yeah, okay, Salawa says, I feel happier when I listen to your powerful words and believe in your wonderful thoughts. This is another example by focus, you, by choosing. You, you, When you choose to read something or listen to something or watch something, right, that is, you're choosing your focus. So you watch the news, right, the fake news, then you're going to be filled with lies and you're going to feel bad. If you listen to Tony Robbins or you listen to me or you listen to anyone like that or read books where the messages are positive, then you're going to feel more positive. Good point. Muhammad 96 says, the fake pandemic has affected me negatively. The absurd thoughts of doctors on television, etc. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> me too. It made, uh, made me angry for a while, and I finally decided again. I'm like, I'm not going to focus on all these idiots, right? I'm not going to focus on I don't care if every other person in the world decides to believe it all. and I just like, I don't care what they think anymore. I don't care. I'm going to focus on myself. I'm going to be healthy. I'm going to be happy, and I'm going to live my life how I know I should, and I'm not going to worry about what other people do. Most people are idiots. <laughs> Just accept that, okay? Most people are programmed. They will do whatever the TV tells them to. They will believe anything TV tells them to. So, um, you know, like I said, I used to get very upset about that. I, you know, occasionally still do, but um, I think that's actually been a benefit of the last few years is it's made me realize that, wow, like everybody just will just, do whatever they're told by the TV. And so you just have to accept it. I mean, do I like it? No, but it's the truth, right? So just accept it. And now it doesn't surprise me when when, when the news says, tells people something, they just believe it. And I'm like, well, that's what people are going to do. But I don't have to do that. I don't watch that garbage and I don't believe that garbage and uh, I'm not going to follow it. You don't need to either. 
Stop worrying about what other people do. Don't worry about them. Can't control them anyway. There's nothing you can do about that. Nothing you can do about it. So just let it go and focus on yourself and your own actions. And this will help. Hey, great, Priscilla Candido. Great, she says she watches all, all my shows. Great. Yeah, Tung Min says uh, you, to become a positive person, you should be surrounded by positive people. This helps. Get rid of negative ones that hold you back. Yes, feeding our mind with positive messages every day. Well said. Nagwa says, I changed my life and the only person who motivated me is you, AJ. Thank you. Well, thank you. That's very nice. Faisal gives a very specific example. I want to be a police officer. The rules of joining the police academy are difficult in my country. If I couldn't join, I think my life will be hard. Well, yeah, you know, so focus now on just joining and doing what you need to do, right, to achieve that goal. But if, if you end up, if you try your best and you can't do it, well, then you need a plan B, we say in English, plan B. You need a backup plan. What else will you do? Okay, there are many things you can do in life. And if, if you want to be a police officer, good luck. If you, you know, are unable to, if you fail at that, yeah, you'll be disappointed, but there are many other things you could do too. So you might want to think about what are other things you could do. So do your best focusing on, do your best to achieve your goal. But hey, sometimes uh, we fail and, and then we just have another goal. Uh, Alexander says, what do you think about the Amish? They keep the focus on essential things. Yeah, I think the Amish, we can learn a lot from the Amish. If you don't know who the Amish are, they're a group of, I don't know if they're outside America, but in, in the United States, they're a group of uh, uh, very religious people who uh, do not, they have very tight communities and they, they do not use, I believe it's electricity. They've got very strict, very specific rules about technology. And I believe they do not use electricity. And uh, some people, oh my God, that's crazy. It's not crazy because they actually, they have much stronger families. They don't, they're not affected by the media because they don't have TV. And they follow just very simple, traditional ways of life. And their communities are very strong. They have lots of children. Their communities are growing and growing and growing. They're doing very well, much better than the modern Americans are. So I think we can learn much from the Amish and other groups like them. Yeah, because they realize that uh, the technology is really not that, does not help <laughs> happiness. Uh, dude, the fighter says, if I have someone who disturbs, if there's someone who disturbs you every day, what would you, how can you focus on getting your goal? Um, it's, it really depends on the situation, but you can try to avoid that person if it's possible. And if not, then you just have to accept the situation and, uh, not try not to focus on them when you're not around them. Abel Hamid says, journaling and meditation are a silver, but it, silver bullet to flourish. It's a tall order nowadays, a lot of distractions. Oh, I don't think so. To be totally upfront, I expose myself a lot to media. I find my brain is rewired. Exactly. Throw away your TV. That's what I'm saying. The first thing to do, throw. It's not, it actually, a tall order means difficult. Um, it's not difficult at all to journal. It's super easy. You sit down at a table and write and just write whatever you think. Write your thoughts. I mean, super simple. There's nothing difficult about that at all. I used to do it at coffee shops all the time. Um, go to a coffee shop. Go to a tea shop. Do it at home. It, there's, it's super easy. 
The only difficult thing is you're you're distracting yourself, filling your brain with a bunch of garbage media. So how do you? The first thing to do is throw away your TVs. If if you have more than one TV, throw them all away. Throw them away into the garbage, and uh, you suddenly find you got a lot more time. <laughs> and your brain, it will not happen immediately. It's going to take you probably years to free your mind from the propaganda and brainwashing, but it will happen. It just takes a long time, but you'll, you'll notice some benefits immediately. Just throw away your TV and do journaling every day. Meditation is tough because it takes a lot of concentration, so it, that one's harder especially if your brain's very busy. Uh, I think walking meditation is often much easier. Chanting is easier. Chanting for types of meditation. Uh, but journaling should be pretty easy, you guys. Salwa says, religious and spiritual thinking is important to improve our minds and hearts and find peace. Exactly. This is an, an example of Another example of very, very positive focus, a very, very meaningful focus, right? So focus on these kinds of things. Oh, that's nice. Majid Nasiri says, uh, my success story, I found a job and now I'm in Australia. Nice. I learned English using your podcast. Great. But my challenge is getting used to the Australian accent because he's used to me, <laughs> American accent. You just got to, you know, find some podcasts and audiobooks, something like that, that are Australian, right? The people are speaking with Australian accents. You get used to the accent. I think you, you're there in Australia. I think you'll get used to it pretty quick. Just talk to people as much as you can. You have a, you'll have to adjust, but I think you'll get used to the accent pretty quickly. Abraham Ali, very nice. Thank you. Says, I missed the beginning of the show, but for me, most of my powerful life changes came from listening to you, AJ. It's very nice. Thank you. Amish. The Amish. Look them up. A-M-I-S-H. Amish. Go says hi from Malaysia. Hello. Malaysia Bole. I think we should not focus our ideas on negative thoughts. Right. Exactly, Fernando. Focus on being an authentic person all the time. Yeah, Stan, Stan Liu says, I always focus on positive things and avoid negative ones, which are usually stuff I can't control. This is exactly the, the main point. Among my experiences, it always ends out that God has better plans than I do. That's a nice way to say it. God has better plans than I do. Hi, monkeys. I'm almost done. Um... So this is another good point. A lot of times the negative stuff is stuff we can't control. Right? In fact, I think usually because if it's something you can control, there's no need to be too negative about it because you can solve the problem. You can do something. It's the stuff we cannot control where we just get too focused on being negative, negative, negative. Mukesh says, go back to nature to be happy. Also great. You get out in nature where it's peaceful, quiet, beautiful. Changes your focus. Yeah, this is another good point. Nasser says, once I reduce my social media usage, my focus increased a lot. That's another good one to cut out social media you know you can get on gab and and meet people to chat in english but just like reading twitter and facebook and instagram eh, yeah for the most part not no not good no talk to real people face to face when you can or at least on skype or something you know <laughs> uh felipe silva says i have a strong belief that discipline is the key to get what you want well, indeed, you need discipline to achieve goals, especially difficult ones. And, uh, yeah, there's kind of discipline, too, and just disciplining your mind to focus on more positive things, to focus on what you can control. Mental discipline. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, baby. I'm almost done. Uh, Alexander says, how's the situation in Japan with this information war that's spreading around the world? Eh, similar, but I don't watch, you know, it's the same lies as everywhere else. Japan is under the control of America, mostly. So you're going to get the same kinds of uh, propaganda. But I don't watch it. I don't even know. I don't care. I don't talk to anybody about it. Um, so for me, it does, it's, I don't care. Right. That's why you, you got to just unplug and separate just like the matrix. You know, it's, it's, it's why that movie, that first matrix movie is so great. Cause it's such a perfect, uh, metaphor for, you know, the media and people who are plugged in to that. They're, you know, just like they say in the movie, uh, you know, they're lost. There's nothing you can do for them. Most of them are not ready to be unplugged. So you just have to unplug yourself. You can't worry about all them. And does and the truth is it doesn't matter anyway. There there is no democracy. Democracy is a lie. So w people's opinions doesn't matter. They're not in charge. They have no power. Uh, they're just doing what they're told. Yeah, so Fernando Diaz says, I found out that cutting most of TV and social media helps a lot to focus on getting my goals. Exactly, instead of wasting your time on all that garbage that you cannot control, that is mostly negative, that is filled with lies and just or just gossip and nonsense. Instead, you start focusing on your life, what you want, what you already have that's great. You start your, your focus starts being on yourself and then everything gets better and better and better and better instead of focusing on all that stuff out there that you have no control over. And then you're just... People who focus on that stuff outside neglect themselves. They don't do what they need to do for themselves. Who do I support in the NBA? Nobody. I don't like the NBA. I never watch it. I don't watch sports anymore. Professional sports. Uh, Cruz says, congratulations for your job in English. I'm from Brazil. Hello. How are you doing with jujitsu? Says, Aserita the Mozo. Great. I'm enjoying it super much. So that's one of the things I focus on. I love jujitsu. I enjoy doing it. So, you know, I, I, that's one thing. I, I'm doing Japanese right now, learning Japanese. I just try to do it an hour a day. And then jujitsu I do uh, three days a week, two or three days a week at the gym and every night I watch jujitsu videos and uh, you know it's a good positive focus I enjoy it it's challenging physically challenging mentally and uh, yeah I love it it's great in fact we just had someone on Gab uh, who just who started doing jujitsu uh, for the first time they had their first lesson and and, and they got beat up a lot <laughs> which is normal Oh, cool. Carlos Augusto says, I'm going to start doing jiu-jitsu next Monday. Wish me luck, AJ. Good luck to you, Carlos. If you have any questions or uh, worries or problems after your lesson, or then uh, um, message me on Gab. I'm happy to support new people because I've experienced, uh, you know, I had the two years of pain as a white belt. <laughs> so I... Uh, I'm still not very good, but uh, the pain is much less now. <laughs> I, I enjoy jiu-jitsu much more now. Uh, it can be very tough in the beginning. The first, uh, depending how athletic you are, how good you are, how much you train. But for me, it was like two years. It was very tough. It was two tough years. The first year, super, super, super tough. The second year, got a, it was definitely better. And uh, now it's wonderful. I enjoy it completely very good experience every day now when I do it okay I'm gonna go take my kids out today 
Yeah, it's interesting. RQC says, hi, I'm a happy woman from Russia, but I don't have a secret. Just be happy, everyone. Enjoy life and nature. There's your secret. You focus on enjoying life and you focus on nature. You focus on these very positive things. I'm, I'm guessing that's why you're a happy woman, because uh, all day you focus on happy things and you focus on what's good in your life. You focus on good, healthy, beautiful things like nature. You focus on enjoying your life instead of just, you know, whatever problems you might have. And we all have problems at times. So that's really the key to happiness. It's not money. It's not all these other things we chase. It's not all those other things can be positive and good, but they're not really what make us happier. It's really more what makes us happy or not is really more about our mental focus. And it's kind of sad because people who think that money is going to make them happy and then they get money and they're still not happy. <laughs> and then they really become unhappy because they sp had all this huge effort to make money and it didn't work. Okay, I think that we're almost done here. Mm -hmm. Okay, just looking at the comments. I'm going to start doing jitsu. Yep, simply you're the best teacher I've ever seen. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. My kids are ready to go outside. Let, let's go now. <laughs> <laughs> hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Adam, Adam Kamalov says, I'm happy because I started to speak English. Awesome. And this is, you know, for English, this is a good thing to do is to focus on what you're doing to improve. How Focus on your improvements. Don't focus on the problems you're still having. Focus on what's going well. All right, well, my kids are going crazy because they want to go outside, so I think it's time to go. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, as always, lots of love to you. Join our challenge. Join my VIP program. This is where you can get my lessons and uh, focus on that every day. You're going to get lots of positive messages in my VIP program as well, plus actual lessons. Um, so that's at EffortlessEnglishClub.com, EffortlessEnglishClub.com. And uh, I will see you all next time. Get on uh, Gab and put your day zero video if you haven't already. You can still do it late. It's okay. And get on there and meet people and start talking, talking, talking in English every day. Is talk to each other. All right. Bye for now.